Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dad, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to the final episode within the uh, cloud, Microsoft Cloud VDI Windows 365 Cloud PC topic element that we've been doing. Um, this is the 14th episode within that sort of subtopic. We've already done Microsoft DevBox and the next episode is going to be starting around Azure Virtual Desktop. Um, so this whole series, every episode is all around Microsoft Cloud VDI and trying to highlight and show the benefits, um, how to configure them, the security benefits, how to deploy them, um, benefits to your organization, etc., user experience. It's all trying to highlight that because uh, that is that is the passion of my Cloud VDI, Microsoft Cloud VDI. That's what my Microsoft MVP award is in. So might as well talk about it. <laughs> um, so well, without further ado, let's get started with this final episode on this subtopic. Um, so this is the Microsoft Cloud VDI series, as I mentioned, and this is part two of the security guidelines. We did like a bit of a demo on Defender for Cloud, Defender for Endpoint, sorry, in the last episode, how you can onboard uh, Windows 55 Cloud PC devices. Um, we're going to focus on, there's no, no, no demo, but we'll talk about OS updates, we'll talk about local admin access, antivirus, and then Microsoft Purview um, in, integration with uh, Cloud PC. Let's talk about OS updates first. One of the most important elements of uh, device security, as we know, is the OS updates. These updates make sure the devices stay um, up to date uh, and secure while delivering sort of the new features and defenses against vulnerabilities. For cloud PCs, Endpoint Manager can be used uh, by the IT admins to configure Intune Windows 10 slash 11 update rings and policies for Windows Update for business. Uh, and we kind of saw the comparison with, with OS updates between business and enterprise specifically, but use Intune update rings essentially or Windows Update for business by default for for the business version. Um, so let's talk about local admin access. I'm a big believer that users should not be local admin access unless there's a, there's a big sort of organizational requirement. Um, by default, Windows Enterprise, Windows 365 Enterprise, and end users can, can't be, they're not administrators on their cloud PCs. There are policies that you can do um, in tune to, to make them local admin, but this is this, this sort of aligns with Windows 10 level security guidance, so they shouldn't users shouldn't be uh, local admins of their cloud PC. Let's talk about antivirus. So Windows 365 integrates with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, as we as we know, and and security and endpoint admins can work together to manage their cloud PC environments, just like they manage any sort of physical endpoint. If you are subscribed to Defender for Endpoint, cloud PCs will send data through to M365 Secure Score. The unhealthy PCs will show up from Defender for Endpoint Security Center and threat analysis um, dashboards. Uh, you can respond uh, to remediation measures just like you would other managed devices. And also, you got you can, you got support for tamper protection manager as well using Defender or Intune. Um, so a, a big kind of a newer one of the newer features, which is really cool. I really like this. I'm, I'm, I do like uh, Microsoft Purview. Is the integration between Cloud PC and uh, Microsoft Purview. Um, it fully integrates with Purview. You, you on, onboarding to Defender for Endpoint does include the Purview Endpoint uh, DLP uh, protection. DLP detects when sensitive items are, are sort of are used and shared, and this gives you sort of visibility control you need to to make sure that data is used and protected properly, and to help, to help prevent any sort of risky behaviour that might uh, compromise them. Um, you can configure Endpoint DLP settings to prevent data from getting copied to, from your cloud PC to like a clipboard um, or to stop um, any printing to unauthorized printers. Okay, so that is the end of this episode. That is the end of this subtopic. We're going to move on to AVD. It's been 14 episodes long. Hopefully you've gathered a lot and you've gained a lot from uh, the sort of understanding of Windows 365. You've done deployments as we've done deployments and so you understand a bit more. Any comments, any questions, please do drop me a a comment and a question in, in the comments or, or you can get me on LinkedIn as well. My my LinkedIn uh, link is below as well. We are going to move on to AVD, but I'm probably looking forward to that uh, the most. AVD is the original Cloud VDI, right, for Microsoft. Um, so hopefully uh, that will start in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.